Hi and thanks for watching this video which is about raster bars on the TMS 9918A using my homebrew computer. Um, what you see on the screen here is the homebrew computer display going to a monitor, um, composite video and um, my homebrew is here obviously. Uh, what the brown window is is a terminal um, emulator and uh, what I want to do is rather than using the keyboard to type on. I'm going to be using the PC keyboard through the terminal. That way it's easier to show um, what I'm trying to do. Uh, let's reset the homebrew so you can see the boot up message. And what I'm trying to do is um, display more colors than is normally available in the 40 column text mode of the TMS 9918A. Um, when we boot up, that's what the screen is in, 40 column mode. And in 40 column mode, you have a one foreground and one background color of your choice but that's for the whole display you can't change colors um, by row or by character so let me demonstrate that so I've got so uh, I can put some message up on the on the screen there 1010 um, and I can change the color and the color is um, I access it through register 32 there's, there's not a register 32 32 indicates use the mode 0 color register um, and the first parameter is the foreground color uh, one is black and the second parameter is background I'm going to use six which is basically red um, so if I issue that then you can see it's gone black text with red background <clears throat> but that's for the whole screen so um, there's no way to set the color for a particular part of the screen so you have to use some trickery <clears throat> and that's what I want to show I've got a demo um, already on my SD card that's attached to the homebrew so I'll load my program which is the demonstration program and I'm listing it out but I'm not going to explain it yet so I'm just going to run the demo and now all that's done is display some stuff on the screen some text on the screen and um, assemble some machine code which is what this listing stuff here is all these numbers here um, now let me execute the machine code and I'll explain what's going on. So what this is, is the same as um, many people will uh, recognize from things like the Commodore 64 or the Atari 8 bits. It's possible through precise counting and, uh, and interrupts to essentially change color um, as the screen is being um, displayed by the by the monitor, but being output by the TMS 9918, and it just requires very um, tight control of uh, timers and uh, the the cycle counting of any code. And what's happening here is that a, a vertical blank interrupt happens right at the bottom of the screen, and then a precise amount of time later, I have an interrupt routine which is changing the color. Of the first row and then the interrupt routine uh, then in, uh, resets to start again one row down and changes to the next color so that's color zero black uh, sorry color one is black color two is green that's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen is gray and at that point there the routine finishes and I maintain the background color of gray of gray and the foreground color of white to the rest to the bottom of the screen and then another vertical blank interrupt will happen that starts this uh, interrupt routine from row one again and then it just goes round and round and uh, even though this interrupt routine is going on I can still do other things uh, I can I can clear the screen but the background interrupts uh, is still Continuing, so the background colors are still there. I can I can plot that. Um, I can plot at uh, row zero or at row one. So that still works. So the the the, the computer is not locked in a in a loop. It's accepting inputs and it still works normally. It's just all happening uh, in a timer interrupt. So let me show you the code very, very quickly. Um, 
So what is the, so when the code starts, there's two values that are very important. Um, iframe delay is the number of 6502 clock cycles from the bottom of the uh, the screen or when the vertical blank occurs to the to the first row. That's 23,381 clock cycles. And then um, the first color change happens and then the timer is set to 2664 which is the, the, the amount of time to delay to get to the next row um, and then the color is just incremented basically um, so that's uh, color 2 and then all the other colors until it gets to 14 which is this gray here and at that point there as I say I stop and I'm waiting for the next vertical blank to happen so that's the two very critical values to make to synchronize uh, the updates with the screen being built. Um, this array is just to uh, allocate some space for machine code. Um, and I'm not going to go into the details of everything, but basically I'm using my one of my 6522s uh, to set up a timer delay, and that's what's used. Uh, these are the values used for those for that timer delay. Um, and here I'm just writing the initial um, text on the screen. So let's look at the assembly. Um, the initialization routine that I called a moment ago, um, that's saving the original um, vertical blank um, interrupt routine and then putting in place the new one that I, I want for my, um, for my raster bar effect. Um, and the same for the, the timer interrupt, which actually changes the colors. That's all that the init routine does. And then the init routine, um, because it sets up the timer interrupt, uh, that's actually what does the work. So every time the timer interrupt kicks off, um, what we have is, um, firstly, when the timer interrupt happens, it starts the timer for the next row. Uh, so the timer can start ticking down, but in the meantime, we update the color by one, and then we um, write that to the TMS 9918 register, which is register number seven. So that value that's in X register is uh, in, in index is then put into register seven of the TMS 9918. Um, unless I've reached some end value, in which case, I'm just switching the timer off and I'm setting the the foreground to F which is white and the background to E which is grey and then I'm waiting for the next vertical blank um, interrupt and the vertical blank um, interrupt itself when that happens um, I'm setting up the delay for the to the top of the frame which is the 23,000 and something um, clock cycles and, and I'm initializing the color. That's what I'm doing. So that's the way this routine works. Uh, I did a very, very quick run through of the assembly, but it's not very complicated actually. Um, the main things are to make sure that the old um, interrupt vectors are saved somewhere before you put the new interrupt vectors on. And also you should call the old interrupt vectors because the operating system still needs to maintain things uh, based on the uh, a regular updates, things like the keyboard scanning routine and, and whatnot. So um, that's what you have to do really. Um, obviously you have to disable interrupts when you're patching the interrupt routine. You don't want an interrupt happening whilst you're still trying to uh, change the vectors then you'd have all sorts of trouble. <clears throat> but otherwise uh, it's quite a simple routine. But it shows that um, even with something like the TMS 9918 which doesn't have um, the features of, for example, the Atari 8-bit, which is the display list interrupt, um, which were really fantastic uh, feature that you could interrupt at any line um, in the in the display. Um, instead, you can still do things with precise timing, much like Commodore 64 progress programmers might, uh, might have done back in the day, but you can do it with the TMS 9918. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, thanks for watching this video.